Our application is a smart plant monitoring system, which monitors the real-time state of the temperature, humidity, moisture level and light level of the plant. Currently, we can see that there's a green LED that is on to show that uh, everything with the plant is working well. And there's also the real-time temperature and humidity displayed on the LCD screen. So all the data collected from the sensor will be published to MQTT which will save the data into Dynamo DB which can be seen over here. It will be saved into the eco plant table. Okay, now let's move on with our dashboard. Okay, so inside our dashboard we can see that currently our plant condition is good. There's also a toggle button for us to turn our yellow LED on and off. So currently the yellow LED over there is off. So when we click on the on, you can see that the yellow LED is now turned on. Okay, and then when we click on off, it will be turned off. Okay, now at the right side, there's a 10 minute average which shows the average value of the temperature, humidity, light value and moisture level from 10 minutes ago up to now. So at the bottom, we have four graphs over here which shows the real-time value of the temperature, humidity, light level and moisture level of the plant. So at the bottom, there's also a historical data table which shows the historical record of the temperature, humidity, light level and moisture level collected from the sensors. So now let's move on to our admin page. So we'll sign in with the default admin account. Okay, over here we can adjust the sensor settings of the plants, of the sensors. So currently for the temperature, the setting is set to 35, which means that a warning will be shown when the temperature goes above 35. So now let's try to change it to 10 to see what will happen when the temperature goes above 10. So it will say that uh, it is successfully updated. So now we'll go back to our dashboard. Okay, you'll see that our plant condition changed to needs attention and then that the temperature is too high. So there will also be a message sent to the telegram bot saying that the plant temperature is too high. The, L the red LED will also start blinking to show that there's something wrong with the plant and the LCD screen will display temperature too high. Okay, now let's go and change it back to normal. So this works for the same for the temperature, humidity and moisture level for the warning. But for the light level, if the light level is lower than currently 700, it means that the white LED will light up. So currently now, the white LED is uh, off. So when the light level goes below 700, let's try to turn off the lights. Okay, so it's quite dark now, so we can see that the white LED is now turned on. Okay, now we'll go ahead and turn on the lights again. Okay, you can see that the white LED is now turned off. Okay, so we'll submit. Okay, we'll go back to the dashboard. So we can see that the plant condition changed back to good again. So now we move on with our telegram bot. So uh, there is an NFC reader on our uh, application. So when we tap our NFC, when we tap the correct NFC card on the NFC reader, uh, the buzzer will have a beep sound and the real time condition will be sent to the telegram bot. So now let's try. So our telegram bot now, uh, the last message is plant temperature too high. So now if we tap, and then we see that there's a message sent to our telegram bot that shows the temperature, humidity, and moisture level of the plant. Okay, so for our telegram bot, we also can send a command, take photo, for the telegram to take a photo of the condition of the plant. 
So now we'll send a command, take photo and send. So now, okay, so now we'll take a photo of the plant. Okay, so we'll see that now there's a picture sent back to us from Telegram, which is a picture of the plant. They're a little small, but it's the plant. Okay, so uh, when the picture is being sent to the user, it is also being saved to S3. So now if we go and take a look at S3, there's two photos. So if we refresh it, the new photo that's taken should go in. So now there's three photos. So all these photos can be viewed inside our website also under images. So if we go to images and then we refresh the page, you can see that now there is three images. The previous two images and the new one that is taken. Okay, now um, Okay, now we'll move on with the blink app. Okay, so on the phone, we're going to the blink app. You can see that the blink app is also showing the real time temperature, humidity, light level and moisture level of the plant. At the bottom there's also a music button which when we press the, the buzzer will play a tune. So we'll